everybody, it's Emily, and this is Emmy Lou Arts, and today I am back again in my A5 Half Year Stalogy, and I'm going to be filling you in on the journaling for the last couple of days of the week. So let's do it! So it feels like it's been an age, and I think the last thing you saw was like maybe Monday of this week, the 10th. And it's been a while since then. <laughs> um, I had done journaling for Tuesday and Wednesday, and I never had time to do the voiceover for it. But I am sticking in a tip in because Wednesday night, so everything, if you've if you've been following along the saga, everything has been negative COVID-wise. We did home tests, and then I wanted to be extra sure. So on Wednesday, we all booked tests for a drive-through, like nasal PCR thing or whatever they're called. And um, so this was right after um, I had picked up Addie from a Girl Scout meeting and we were all in the car waiting to get tested uh, <laughs> at this drive through place. And um, it's like 4.30 on uh, Wednesday night and I have to get the kids packed because we're leaving for Minnesota. This looks different because I'm at my in-laws in Minnesota right now. So... Um, I had to get us packed, had to get the cats ready to go to my parents. I was stressed, to say the least. And then I get a, a, a voicemail from Addie's teacher. Hey, just calling to check and make sure that Addie's ready to share her passion with the class tomorrow. Cooking is kind of difficult. I don't know how you're going to work that out. Um, it's especially hard because there's not really much you can bring into the school. But if you have any questions, just give me a call. Thanks. I look at Addie, and her eyes are as big as saucers because she's realizing, Oh, shittity brickety, I did not tell Mommy about this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, she did not. <laughs> so, um, it was Addie's turn on Thursday to share her passion with the class, her love of cooking. So, last minute, we threw together... A cooking show, Cooking with Addie. So on the way home from getting our COVID swabs, I stopped at the grocery store and got uh, got things to make Oreo dirt cake. Um, because for some reason, Oreos is one of the things that they can bring into class um, that isn't like in a nut-free facility. There's no dairy. It's prepackaged. So I was like, we'll film you making the dirt cake, and then you can bring in a package of Oreos to share with the class so that they'll have, you know, it's a little bit interactive. So we did. We filmed Cooking with Addie, and uh, it actually turned out really cute. And Michael got home just in time to help, so I didn't have a complete and utter nervous breakdown. And um, I used some of those. Uh, that Welcome to the Show was a, like, piece of a die cut that I got sent from those spark that Glam Spark, what is it? I've talked to you guys about it before. She sent them to me. Um, Spark Co. I'll link it below, but they're cute. And um, some stickers from those little um, animal sticker packs. This was just a tip-in from um, the Molang stickers that I had ordered off of Amazon a long time ago. Um, please ignore the edema on my arm from my <laughs> my hair ties. <laughs> That's gross. Um... So I just made a tip in of that, and uh, I, later I add some pictures. I took some screenshots from the video and uh, put those on there. But um, the <laughs> on to Thursday, I was adding some of the Buha Bear stickers um, of packing, and <laughs> he's like got a little suitcase, and there was a little backpack sticker because I was getting. Um, Things ready for us to leave and go see um, Michael's family who lives in kind of like central northern Minnesota. Not northern. They used to live in northern Minnesota. But they moved to a new town. And um, I don't know why, but for some reason, like, preparing to leave stresses me out so much. I have no clue why. It's like I feel like I've got everything to do, even though it's fine. And it takes me... A ridiculously long amount of time to pack and <laughs> Michael's always like we're not going to the Himalayas there's like 
a Target and a Walgreens like 20 minutes away. I'm like, it, you know, we can get things. My parents have things. I'm like, I know, but it just stresses me out. And um, so that was me Thursday, just running around like a chicken with my head cut off. And um, I was just writing about that and um, using those Buha Bear stickers, uh, which I just love. You know, all my stickers that I can find or that I've bought uh, are linked from below on Amazon. So to add to this stress, um, Iowa got pummeled with a, what do they call it? A Saskatchewan screamer, <laughs> like this horrible winter storm that came down from Canada. And we got, uh, well, they were predicting a foot of snow at least. So that little changing to snow guy was from a scouting magazine one of my son's Boy Scouting magazines. And I was like, seriously? Because the kids and I were leaving Thursday right after school to drive up. This winter storm was supposed to hit on Friday. Totally fine. But Michael had to work Friday, so he was going to leave after he left work on Friday and come up. Because it's like a four-hour drive. Um, well, that was... There was a wrench in the works from the Saskatchewan Screamer. <laughs> Because the roads were going to be basically impassable. So I was like, well, fantastic. I guess I'll just go. <laughs> and I had planned all this fun, like, winter stuff. I mean, we had put this together because we never get to go, like, in the winter, you know, months and do all the fun things that there are to do in Minnesota. So I was like, let's go and take this long weekend and do all the fun winter activities that there are to do in Minnesota. We were pumped. And, um, so to have him not be able to come up when, you know, and miss some of the stuff was really frustrating because it's not for me. Like he never gets a vacation. So, ugh, so frustrating, but he did eventually make it up just later, um, the next day. So those are the still shots of screen grabs that I took from Addie's cooking show and, uh, glued on the back of that tip in and, um, and then somebody sent me this little cat. It was, um, I cut it out. I don't know what it was, but I used it as um, fatty and skinny because they went on a trip to gram Grandma and Grandpa's house. <laughs> um, they stayed at, are staying at my mom and dad's this weekend um, because they're so high maintenance that it would have been like, they would have been back and forth between my house like every 10 minutes because my mom at first she was like, well, so what do I need to do? And I was like, <clears throat> well, you know, all their medications. And then, and she's like, well, so then how often does skinny eat? And I was like, well, all the time, whenever he wants, he gets like a teaspoon every 15 minutes, basically. <laughs> They're so high maintenance. And she's like, okay, so maybe I should just stay at your house. I was like, you know, it might just be easier if I bring them over to your house and there's like a room in their basement that is really big and has like a bed and has a whole bunch of stuff, you know, um, but they can shut the door so that Tommy, their cat, can't get in. I was like, maybe they can just stay in that room for the weekend with their box and their food and they'll have ton, you know, tons of room to roam around. And then you can just go in there and spend time with them and you're not going back and forth between my house. So perfect. Um, so I took them there, got them settled, but that took like an hour. Um, that's the cat taxi. <laughs> And I just, they were just so confused. They were like, what's going on, mom? Um, but it's really best for everyone because, like I said, my cats are not low-maintenance animals, as cats typically should be. <laughs> um, and then I used stickers from the uh, oh, Sweet Kawaii Designs, like, travel um, sticker book from Michael's. It's so cute. Like, the little map and the... Um, the slow down sticker and then some of those vintage girl sticker flakes the one with her um on the pillow and the looks like she's holding up a phone and she's got chips like basically um that was the car ride they watched movies on their ipads and drew on procreate and i um i drove <laughs> and um listened to an audiobook 
through one of my AirPods. Like road trips with the kids now are like no big deal, but gosh, I it made me think back to how it was when they were like little, little, like in car seats and you're trying to keep them occupied. And it was a nightmare. It was an absolute and utter nightmare road trips. And um, so for all of you moms and dads still in that boat, I sympathize and it will get easier. They will, they will get less, they travel easier as they get bigger. (laughs) So, so have faith. (laughs) It will get easier. Uh, I put in that little dancing hamburger um, because we had McDonald's on the way up for the second night in a row. Yep. Because uh, I had to do some bribery work to let them come near Addie with another nasal swab. She might have been a little bit scarred from the two at-home tests that I made her take, too. Poor thing. (laughs) And that involved some nuggies, some chicky nuggies. Um, So, you know, you got to do what you got to do. I used these pages from uh, the children's book. There was this um, page that said home days and away days. And it's like this little girl running towards what looks like a grandparent. So on the one side, I put the dad like waving goodbye. And then on the other side, I put the little girl um, glued her in. She's like running with her little backpack. And then I um, cut apart the words away days because they weren't going to fit on there otherwise and glued those on there. It turned into such a cute little spread. I think it looks adorable. Um, I love how she's like holding a bouquet of flowers. That's not how we show up at my (laughs) in-laws. We show up with 15 suitcases and me saying, I forgot shampoo. Can we use your shampoo? (laughs) Yep. Welcome. And then on the other side, I tipped in the, like, the grandpa with his arms open. Oh, it's so cute. And then I put in little letter stickers for Minnesota. I thought it was adorable. It's the little things, you guys. Uh, Let's see. And then Friday was to begin our epic weekend of Minnesota winter fun. (laughs) So... Uh, we've done so much stuff, <laughs> which is so unlike us, <laughs> so unlike me. <laughs> um, I used one of these vintage girl stickers. Um, she's holding the cup of coffee, and um, I used little snowflakes from a tip-in to put on the window because they were just on the outskirts of this winter storm that was going, like, blowing southeast Um So it did snow all day here in Minnesota, but it didn't um, pile up like it did down at our house. So I put snowflakes in the window because it was actually, it was just really nice. It was very um, just homey feeling. And then I put some Buha Bear breakfast stickers and then those egg stickers because whenever we're here, my uh, Addie always ropes my father-in-law, her grandpa, into making her um, sunny-side-up eggs. I refuse to make runny eggs. They just gross me out too much. (laughs) And then we decided to go ice skating. Um, We had to go. There's tons of ponds around here where we could have gone, except for we didn't have ice skates, so we needed to go where we could rent them. So we went to an ice arena. So that was, like, probably a half-hour drive, but it was fine. Um, and it was super fun. Um, the kids had never been before. Um, Addie had been, you know, rollerblading, so she was pretty decent at it. Uh, but Henry, he was learning and it was super cute. Um, they actually, it was really neat. They had like cones, like traffic cones that you could, um, that beginners could use. So you could push them. They kind of just slid around on the ice, but it gave you something to grab onto, you know. And uh, so he had a cone, and my little niece, Annika, had a cone. She was out there in her little marshmallow snowsuit. (laughs) So cute. She spent the day with us, too. Um, And then I'm just putting in pictures from from the ice skating. We had so much fun. Um, I forgot how fun ice skating is. It's just like roller skating. It's such... It's like a natural antidepressant. I don't know what it is, but I just was going around the rink just smiling. (laughs) It just makes me so happy. (laughs) 
Oh, it was awesome. Um, and then actually, as luck would have it, Addie, after we left there, she's like, I want ice skates so bad. And um, we went to, we ended up going to this little antique store on Saturday morning that's close to my um, my in-law's house. It's the coolest, cutest place. And they actually had these figure skates there for, they were Addie's, they were size four and they were perfect and they were 13 bucks. So we bought them. And um, so she was actually able to go ice skating on a pond yesterday. So that was really cool. Um, talk about good luck. So that was super fun. Uh, the kids had a great time. It was something they had never done before. Uh, and then I put in that little picture of the seal, like in the little suit. <laughs> it was supposed to be Annika. She was so adorable. She actually had her own skates. Um, and she had a little helmet on and it was really funny. Uh, we were trying to help her, but she was happy to just watch the big kids scoot around. She is obsessed with Henry and Addie. It's so fun. Um, it's just so cute. And then I used some uh, more of those animal stickers, and then I spelled out snow. It's just so funny because just the, like, uh, it, it was kind of like one of those full circle moments because I remember when um, we had just had Henry, and he was, like, four months old, and we came back to Minnesota for his baptism um, to get him baptized. And I remember being at my in-laws house in like northern Minnesota and it was snowing out that night and it was dark and it was quiet and I just had a sense of like we need to be back here with our families like it was just this like intense feeling you know and at that point we had no plans of coming back to the Midwest um but man, that feeling hit me. And and then it, yesterday, as the snow was falling again, I was like, just thinking about how much has happened in the last 11 years, you know, like we've come back, we're here. Um, not that we didn't love, love North Carolina, but you know, this is home. And um, it was just a really poignant moment, I guess. Um, I, you never know what the future will hold, but uh, we were, it brought us back here, which was really really cool. Um, I had booked for the kids and I to go to this place called Wild Mountain on Friday night, and they do this twilight um, cosmic colors snow tubing. It is so cool. So it's at, you know, um, sunset or when it's dark out. So our slot was from five to seven. And it's like this big mountain, and they light it all up with all these different colors. And they play like really good music. And we had so much fun. Oh my goodness. It was amazing. And they had this like little warming house thing with a um, like a concession stand. And then they had a big bonfire outside. I didn't know how busy it was going to be. I was nervous about that. But there was probably only 20 other people there, maybe. And so it was not busy at all. It was so cool. The kids and I had so much fun. It was amazing. I would highly recommend. Um, this place, Wild Mountain, is in Taylor's Falls, um, Minnesota, which is a really cool tourist place um, because it's right on the border of Minnesota and Wisconsin. And it's beautiful and there's tons of stuff to do. Um, uh, and it was just, it was really, really cool. And, um, <laughs> the guys at that were at the top of the hill were really cool. They were so nice to the kids and you can go down like in, um, like chains or you can go down alone. And they, we got to the end and we were drinking hot chocolate and Addie was like, the guy at the top of the mountain asked me if I wanted to spin or if I wanted fun. <laughs> and I said, I want fun. He goes, okay, get ready. <laughs> so he like sent her down, you know, like apparently even more fun than spinning. <clears throat> and she said, the next time I went up, he said, okay, do you want fun or do you want fun, fun. And she goes, I want fun, fun. <laughs> I was screaming bloody murder the entire way down because it's, it's steep and there's like, like, uh, bumps and it, I mean, it's super fun. 
And I put in that little lantern sticker and then some uh, stickers from a seasonal sticker book that one of you sent me. Uh, it was just a super cool time. Really neat. And I was just writing about that, how much of a blast it was. Um, we had a pretzel. We had pizza um, on the way home. And we, like, passed out after that. <laughs> it was a jam-packed day of winter fun. And I'm just adding hearts to my pages, you know. Um, we had these little uh, tickets attached to our coats, and I took mine off my coat, and I wanted to turn it into a little tip-in for my journal. So I poked a hole through my pages, which worked pretty good because I had washi tape on either side, so it kind of made it a little bit more sturdy. And then I took some um, just embroidery thread from my mother-in-law and just tied it on there. So that was super fun. I love putting stuff like that in my journal. The more stuff that hangs out of it and, and you know, flips open and I love it. So that is the, our last couple of days in, in Minnesota. And uh, it's been wild. It's been real. Uh, yesterday we went sledding. We went ice skating some more. We went, I, I can't even remember. Um, not ice fishing, but we did see all the ice fishing. Um, and I went snowshoeing with my sister-in-law. Today we're going horseback riding. I'll see you guys soon.